Frederick Douglass Fritz Park. I was born on January 27, 1894 in Chicago, Illinois in a neighborhood called Rogers Park. My dad was a famous boxer during the Civil War and my mom was Native American. I was named after Frederick Douglass the activist. I was seventh, I was the seventh out of eighth born. I, I, my high school was Lane Tech Prep and I excelled in many sports. Brown University on a Rockefeller scholarship. I, I, I did track, football, and on my, at my first year at Brown, I, I made it to the Rose Bowl against Washington State. While I was at Brown, they wouldn't let me, they wouldn't let me dress in the locker room, so I had to dress in the car. On the train to Ro the Rhode Island to California, at the hotel, they wouldn't let me lock, they wouldn't let me sign in. Then my team refused to, to stay at the hotel. Later they worked it out and I was able to stay. In the spring of 1916, I qualified for the Olympics in low hurdles. I left Brown, in 1917 I left Brown to, to serve in World After War I. After serving in World War I, I joined the Akron Foes. Also, and the, the league's name was called the American Professional Football Association, that w which is now known as the NFL. At my first year in the, in the pros, I won a championship against Jim Thorpe's Canton Bulldogs. of African-American football players to play professionally. In 1923, I was the first black QB. I, I was the first African-American coach to coach professional football. NFL's own, NFL owners stopped allowing black players to play. That motivated me to make my own, NF, my own team full with black players. My team's name was called the Brown Bombers. We named our team after the heavyweight champion Joe, Joe Lewis. against other teams. We were 29-0 and we had never lost a game. In 1926, the Brown Bombers fell, our Brown Bombers fell apart. In 1927, there were no black players allowed in the NFL. became an entrepreneur. I started an investment firm, became a newspaper mogul, and a talent agent for black entertainers of my time. May 11th. In 2005, I, I was inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. My legacy leaves the Fritz Paul Alliance, which promotes equal NFL coaches and front office opportunities for minorities. Thanks for watching my historical figure report.